Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of Haven Cave Block. I don't know what this room would be used for. Well, just wait. We'll do it into it in this episode, and you'll find out how I made this lovely armor here. Let's get to it. All right, just about to get started, and a wandering trader showed up. Uh, let's see here. What do you have? A sleep charm, leather skeleton skulls, skull. Um, don't see anything worth it. When you become visible. Oh, I hit you. All right. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, Today's project is, uh, I want to get us ready to fight the Gaia. So, I figured make some Project E armor. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the better armors out there. And, uh... Yeah. Like, it's gonna be a good fight. It's gonna be a good fight no matter what. I don't think I can do any that one yet. I can make those, but, uh... Some of the stuff I can't make just yet. Um... Because, well... I don't have access to it, but I can make the gem plate. I thought I made the body stone. Apparently I didn't teach it to the system. That's what happened. Let me guess, I did not teach the soul stone to it yet. All right. Toss those in there. Type in gem armor. Grab the that and helmet. And uh, yeah, we can't make that yet because we can't make those rings until after we fight the Gaia. That is why we're fighting the Gaia today. Uh, partially want to get that taught to the system so we can move forward. And uh, partially, because, like, why not? Um, all right, we need an Elven Gateway Core. Uh oh. For some odd reason, some of the stuff goes in here before the other storage. Which is not what we want. We want it to go into here first. Can remove that, put on that nice armor. <clears throat> um, and now we need an Alvin Gateway Core. Uh, two, two, two. A uh, glowing use for this. It's like glowing something or other. Uh, 
I can remember how to make it. Just cannot seem to remember. Is it this was some glossum? Glimmering. There we go. Uh, that should have went into the system. Got the glimmering. We've got the core. We need mana pools. So uh, we should be able to make these. Why are you, you know what? Uh, set this priority to 10. Now we should say mana pulls, and now we see it, okay. That might actually help. Um, we need a couple mana pylons and a couple of tablets. Let's go over here. Hold, grab a full stack of uh, coal blocks here. Uh, toss this down into the world. Get that into here. Where is our We leave it. I'm trying to find the wand of the forest, guys. I am. I was not sure where I set that down at. Glad we still have this one. Uh, I'm gonna get enough mana to fill up both of these mana pools, and I think I want to put this say three right here I think will be a good spot for yeah Elven portal. If I remember correctly, this is the proper way of setting the... Uh, it's, been, it's been a bit. It's been a bit since I actually set this up. Um, in the other pack, the previous pack we played. Uh, I need to go get some living wood. I want to open up this portal before I take a break to fill up the mana pools for it. Uh, do, 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 do. You're all probably yelling at me, telling me I'm doing it wrong. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what I was doing wrong. All right. Let's get down the mana pulls. Got the first mana tablet pull. Press the mana tablet in there. We have another mana tablet in here we can steal. Okay, so we'll let those fill up a little bit. Set these on here. No? What, what's, what's wrong? That's full. 
that's full, so I should be able to do... Okay, so let's look at the Batania book, see what I'm doing wrong. All right, uh, gateway, gateway. All right, uh, Alpha Man Seed, the portal to Alfheim. <clears throat> Oh, do they have to be nature pylons and not regular pylons? All right, all right. See, see, Malcor knew something was wrong, but wasn't sure what. Alright, um, major pylons. Yeah, that, that feels right. Okay, now when we hit that, we should open up the portal to Alpine. First thing we want to do is toss that book in and get their version. Uh, one thing I would like to do now is come over here, grab out a mana pearl, a mana diamond. Couple mana seals, a mana dust, mana pearl. Mana Diamond, I think, is all of the stuff that we can trade with them. Okay, we got the Elementium. Uh, Pixie Dust, Dragonstone. What, what are we missing from them? I... Think, I'm pretty sure mana pearls get turned into something. Pixie dust. Okay, uh... Mana dust. Okay, mana dust does not get changed into anything. Okay, so all right, I think that is all of that so far. So I'm going to build up um, I'm going to get the four mana pi uh, Gaia pylons that we need. Uh, which requires elven pylons. Elven still requires uh, oh, mana infuser. Okay. Okay, so let me get the stuff I need to make the mana infuser. And I will be right back. Oh, yeah, folks. Uh, with a little bit of uh, time and gathering. Still haven't made enough uh, mana yet. Like, that. that's... 
that's going to take a little bit of time, which reminds me, I've been wanting one of these for a while. Oh, I've removed the mycelium there. Um, together, the stuff I needed. Uh, but one of the things I wanted was time in a bottle. So, like, whenever I do one of those breaks, you guys would know roughly how long I was gone. So, we've got a time in a bottle now. All right. Such a great thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure if, um, you should know how that works. It, it just pretty much speeds up whatever you right click with it uh, that has tick acceleration. Uh, okay, so the f we're still making the. Uh, what you call it? Rod. Uh, the, uh, not the rod. Um. The plate. Which we need more runes. Uh, other runes that we did not get yet. Uh. Like the rune of spring. Okay, and we keep the previous set of runes. All right, that that's good to know. But I want to teach these to this as well. So we need the rune of spring. Uh, we do this, and oh, the watermelons. Yes. <clears throat> There is uh, five runes, Rune of Spring, Rune of Summer, Rune of Winter, Rune of Autumn, and the Rune of Asgard. And to make like the Rune of Asgard, we're going to need the Rune of Air, Rune of Autumn, and the Rune of Pride. Rune of Pride takes the Rune of Fire, Rune of Spring, and two diamonds. And all of these runes are made Pretty much the same way. You toss them all onto the runic altar. Wait until the mana goes into it. Toss the living rock. And we get it. Like I said, we, we get the runes back, so. Which is fantastic. Um, the rune of autumn is the next one I want to get anyway so that is fire air spider eye oh not water I, I got a, an entire stack out of each of these because I was like oh I'm gonna need a lot of these, so. Apparently I was wrong. Um, one of Autumn, Air, Fry, the Bi Bifrost Rod. I don't have one of those yet, and we're going to be needing the Bifrost Rod. So, make one of these for us to have and in, in the system uh, and the reason why is we'll need some bifrost blocks I didn't know if we needed those or not in our inventory all right so now the rune of Asgard requires the Rune of Pride, the Rune of Autumn, the Bifrost Rod, 
and a, another ingot. And what, what one was it? Rune of Air. We'll get the runes back, but we won't get the Bifrost Rod back. And I need more coal. Let's take some of this lime coal. See if that can use that. Yep. Alright. Like I said, we don't get the rod back, but we did get the runes back. And we did get the rune of Asgard. So, Asgard. Uh, which leaves us to the Rune of Winter, I think is the last one we need, which we need cake, wool, two snow blocks, so cake and wool, cake, wool, I like having the advanced uh, ones of these done up, uh, cake, wool, Snow blocks. Uh, and water earth. Water earth. Okay, so water earth. Two snow blocks. Okay, cool. Alright, so there we go. We got that now. And now we should be able to get most of the stuff we need uh, to advance here. So, um, we need one of these glimmering dream ones, which we should have Glimmer more logs. Ew. All right, so we should be able to make one of these glimmering dream ones. And should be able to request the mana infuser. Uh, which requires these glimmering rocks, five of them. So, not glimmering. Um, it's use of the Bifrost block. Oh, I hate that. Um, shimmering? Yes, it is Shimmer Rock. There we go. Alright, we need a total of five of these Shimmer Rocks and four gold blocks. And we can take out this old setup. Okay, so the shimmer rocks would go in the same spots as the previous one did. The gold blocks go here, 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 and here. And we're going to have to leave this one up because uh, it's the only way to make this. Uh, I need to look at the pools. The mana pools. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, there's tier 2 mana pools. Uh, that can hold twice as much. Uh, do, 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 I think it's you. I 
I don't remember if it's fabulous ones or not that can hold two mana pools worth of mana. Uh, if not, we'll just make regular mana pools. I want to get this, but that's going to require us to get the Gaia fight over. Um, which we still need the Gaia pylons, which, well, I'll, in, I'll still think. Which requires one Pixie Dust, one Elementium Dusk, and one Dragonstone. And one and a half mana pools. So let me get the mana pools done up. Because uh, we're going to need to do three tablets worth of mana. So let me get that. Actually, I think, yeah, we do have it. So, Pixie Dust on what is it? I, I should have uh, put that there. So, Pixie Dust, Elementium, and Dragonstone. All right. We can set all of those in there and not Did I not put this on the right thing? Oh, I, I need the Botania book. Uh, Lexicon Botania. Actually, I have one. Um, All right. I thought this was gold. Um, yeah, block of gold, mana infuser, shimmer rocks. Give me a second to figure this out, folks. Okay, guys. I just saw this here. Uh, it says it needs a dominant spark augment to pull mana to it. So, I mean, I made three more mana pulls, put sparks on top of it, thinking that might work. Uh, it will. It, it will actually, uh, it's a good thing. So let me get the stuff for a dominant spark here. Um, and also, I want a passive spark. Spark augment. Uh, dispersive. That's it. That, that's it. Dispersive augment. Um, so let's let's go make the dominant and the passive spark augment. So there's the dominant and dispersive. I think it's the dispersive one that I want. Teach this to this so we can access these whenever we need them. 
uh, we put a dominant spark augment on it, and you see that little floating thing that just says, oh, yeah, okay, so you, you do this. So now passive should spread its... Oh, wait, 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 wait. This... That's not the augment we want. That is going into those mana tablets that we have on us, so yeah. It's one of the spark augments. I'll remember here in a second. Uh, it is not the dispersive. Dominant recessive. Recessive. Uh, The recessive augment makes a spark distribute all its mana to the mana pool into nearby augmented dis uh, non augmented disperse. Okay, there we go. That's what we want. We want to be able to uh, spread that over. So, spark, uh, it was recessive. That's it. So once we stick that on there, you see it's going over to those mana pools, filling it up, which we want, which we wanted. I'll let that fill up with mana. All right, so now let's get the uh, stuff to make out still again which is Pixie, Elementium, and Dragonstone. Pixie. Elementium and Dragonstone. And now those are passing it over to that. We see the nice little bit of display here. It's getting closer to being done because we see it going to an orange color now. To a bright yellow and there it is, completely done. Now we've got Elf still. And we can take the elf still that we have here, turn it into the elf nuggets, which should allow us to get one of these guys done up. Come on. Just like that, and now we have the Gaia Pylon. We can get four of these. And we need also a beacon. So what I'm going to do now for a little bit is dig out a area for this. Uh, behind our current uh, Batania setup. And I will be right back once I get that done. And after a bit of uh, getting this prepped and set up, this should work here. So we'll take the Terra still. Right click and ah, it's right there. That that line right there. That's fine. I'll go all the way to the ceiling right there with that. 
can set the torch there now and we should have everything I want I have a soul stone on me the captive dreams the axe first split second I thought I saw a creeper over there it's the man of pylons and here we go uh what now oh oh okay okay There we go with that side, and on this side, boom, it's this spot. And I am ready. It's going to be a tough fight, guys, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can do this here. Go get a wanna avoid the green uh the purple particles on the ground. Uh go napple. And I want to knock those fairies out of the sky as well. It's a rough battle. Notice right there, it has my skin. That's one cool thing about the Gaia battle. There is ways of cheesing it, and I'm I'm just gonna use captive dreams because you know I like captive dreams. We're so full health and everything because of our soul stone, which yeah that that's sort of what's making this super easy for us to do. Awesome rock track I I have to say about this pad. Oh oh, we're about to go to stage two here. All right. I hate stage two of this. Normally this fight, uh, when you're playing in the air, a little bit rougher. Uh, I mean, oh, he's back down on the ground, so let's focus on him. Okay, so anytime those guys get out, out of the uh, outside area. Which I should really, if I'm going to do the battle too, which I'm going to have to do to get uh, some of the quest things I'm not. Definitely the thing that's helping me out right now is the armor that we have. The red matter armor and the uh, Gaia, or the... the Red metal armor and the gemstones. Pretty much helping us out here. So now we can put in the Gaia spirits in here. So so we've got Gaia spirits. Let's about put one of these in here. Get a stack of Gaia spirits. We have some skeleton spawn eggs. Could be lunar gem. I don't know what that's for. 
put away that stuff there. Uh, we've got a lot of arrows in us, but you know, we're pretty much immortal with this armor. Get some more mana going here. Let that build up some mana. And while we're letting that build up mana, let's go to the gem uh, armor that we still need. We still need the boots, which requires uh, these, which require Gaia Spirits. Uh, eight of them each, so 16, 32 of these to be made. And wait. Uh, oh, okay. Lava buckets. Okay. Make four of these uh, bands now. There we go. We need two for the split fall. There we go. So now we should be able to do this. And we need the two for the black band. Which now we can get the leggings. All right, so I'm not sure what this just did. I don't, I don't I'm not sure what mod caused this. Uh, but now we've got the capability of flying. Really moving through our base a little bit faster. So this will get us through a lot more of the stuff. Also, um, red matter. I want to make uh a better weapon but i'm not sure what better weapon i'm going to make just yet uh so far about took me about an hour to do this episode since we got captive or uh, we got that so now now we're good we were doing well on um we're doing well on the armor side I I got to figure out how to get rid of that but uh, until next episode if you like this episode hit that like button if you dislike this episode go right ahead dislike it tell me why you disliked it down in the comments tell me how to better improve it uh, and I will take your advice into consideration uh, next episode, I want to get to doing some auto crafting, some crafters, and maybe the disk storage because we can't keep relying on this anymore. Uh, and until then, later gators.